What are you doing? Hmm? Wearing those glasses in here. Who do you think you look mm. like, Puff Daddy? Hey, man. I'm a bouncer. That's what we do. We wear glasses. When you go to prison, they'll make you Puff Mommy. Mm. Now pass me those glasses. Man. Yo, yo. Pass me those glasses. Yo, man. I got know. rights, man. I got rights. No. To right, wear my man. sunglasses at night. Now listen to me. I'm going to ask you some real simple questions. And I want some real simple answers. Now you left because you got this phone call? I got a phone call. I got a phone call and I had to take it. I had to take it so she couldn't hear. So I had to go outside. What do you mean, outside? Were you inside? I was inside a room. What do you mean? So you were inside the room? I'm a bouncer, man. Hmm, was it, wasn't she getting changed at 9 o'clock? That's why I came outside. I took the call, and at that time, she got changed. But you were definitely in there. Hmm? You have messed up. You know you have messed up, right? Huh? Yes, don't give me that, huh? You've messed up. You really have. I swear it down, man. I love that girl, man. I love her with all my heart. Don't do this to me, man. What? I just left her for two minutes. I came back. I didn't even want to think about it no more. Look what two minutes did. She's dead. I was there to protect, not to kill. Give me one reason I want to kill her. Did I say you killed her? Hmm? She's dead. So, I'm just asking I'm arrested. You. Don't give me no attitude, idiot. I was her bouncer, nothing more. I didn't kill her. You have messed up. I'm Detective Toby Ololo Monuembi. But you can call me Chris for short. I would like to talk to you about the death of Latoya. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, let me in. Let me in. Can you believe I think I'm obsessed with you? I mean, we only talk every day. The woman, do you do voodoo? Mm, look at this. Explain this to me. You're obsessed with this woman. Look, every picture's. From side to side, look, are you crazy? Well, I think she's a great singer. She's just brilliant. I used to go to her concerts, then one day she just snubbed me. I heard on Press Hilton's site where she'd been leaving from, and so I stood there for hours, and when she appeared, her toy looked right at me and just blanked me. She looked right through me as if I wasn't even there. This is all very sad, but I want to know how you got into that private video shoot. Well, it was a private number. They just said to be there and they give me a private pass and I could meet Alan, you know. Mm, backstage pass. That is interesting. But I'll be back if I need some more information.
What are you doing here? It's been over a week and you still haven't caught the killer. He's roaming free and all you're doing is eating crisps. Look, I am Detective Toby. Ololo Monu Embi. But you can call me Chris for short. I'm just here to help you to find out the killer of your babe, Latoya. Hmm? But you, you need to help me with some information. Do you understand? Why would I have anything to tell you? I can't. I love her. Ah! You love her? <laughs> Let me leave you alone. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the amazing and wonderful life of a singer, songwriter, actress, TV commercial girl, comedian, author, playwright, model, film producer, DIY expert, marine biologist, tree surgeon, journalist, ex-convict, rabbit skinner, trucker, part-time bodybuilder, Santa's helper in December, obviously, chef, firewoman, brain surgeon, school teacher, and generally good all round. Miss Fololobos, mm -hmm. I've concluded my investigation and my findings that you were jealous of your own daughter who was spending more time with your husband during the tours. So I believe that you crept out of the video shoot. Huh? You understand what I'm saying? So you killed her. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you may say may be used against you as evidence because you're going to get locked up. Hang on a minute there. You've got the wrong suspect. If you haven't noticed, Duke and Miss Starks have been over there getting busy. It seems clear to me that Duke is a missing a piece of jewellery. Follow me. Gather round. Please, everyone, gather round. I'm not who you think I am. <gasps> I am, in fact, Toulouse von Meisenheimer. That's what you think. I have been watching from the very beginning. I thought it might be Saka Serva. No. I thought it might be Mrs. Fololobos. No. I thought it might be Mr. Fololobos. Maybe even the mysterious Brad Kane. I thought it could be Lucretia, but no. And then I end up with two people, Duke Ducati and Louis Starks. These two were the only two that had access to her number and could give Psycho Sarah the setup to give the wrong impression that she killed Latoya. But, you know, how do I know? How can I be sure? The reason I am sure, Duke, is this.
this is your last pit stop to cut. Could have been rich. 